Everyone always says how evocative it is, which is often fragrance is thought sort of quite a vague. Lots of people don't seem to trust as much as the sight or, or sound. Um, but all that vagueness at the time, when you come back to it and you smell something that you recognise, it's so clear in your memory. I think that's what I always find really interesting about fragrance. My name's Tom Daxon Bowers. I grew up here in Gerrard's Cross in Buckinghamshire. I think it's, it's definitely of all the senses, it's, it's the one that you can smell if you came across someone in the street that wore, say, an ex-girlfriend's fragrance. The memory will be stronger than, than if you, they were wearing the same item of clothing. It has a sort of a very acute strength. The process of making a fragrance is quite long. We start with an idea. Often, more specifically, we start with an ingredient. The best naturals, the best synthetics, the best ingredients that my perfumer, Jacques, controls himself because he runs a very small perfume lab. And so he vets the quality himself. And then that sort of gives us that immediate advantage then to just make something great with them, I think. At their labs, they'll have sort of all the ingredients um, that a perfumer, perfumer's organ, as it's called. And then kind of the mood of the fragrance. So if it's a light fragrance, if it's very fresh or very green or very woody, very wintry, those kind of descriptions. And then we really just take it from there. And then it's very much just trial and error. It's just constant refinement. Once we've finally got the finished oil, then it's taken to a manufacturing facility where it's macerated in big metal drums with the alcohol. And that's where the longer the better. Uh, you'll get a product that actually smells better than any of the versions that you smelled before. It's rewarding making something, making fragrance especially, because it gives you a sort of a chance to show your creative side to work with other really talented people.